Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning in to this video blog. So I've been getting a good response from my last video where I walked you through a simple web designer's portfolio template for a portfolio, for a portfolio site. And if you have not seen that video, I'll link to it in the description below. But basically, from that video, someone asked me, Mike, I love the video. How would you recommend me getting started in terms of building this, uh, building a portfolio? Um, and this is a good question. What this person is actually asking is, if I'm a web designer and I don't have any work, I don't have any clients right now, I don't have any projects, where, where do I get started? How do I get started in progressing to build up my portfolio? Um, good question. And I've explained this in the past. When you're just now getting started as a web designer, you don't have any work, you don't have any clients, what you want to do is not necessarily design your portfolio. You want to focus primarily on a single project for your portfolio. And what I mean by project is a personal project. Okay, what that is is a fictitious concept website um, that you can, you know, concept up and think about and produce screenshots, visual screenshots of the design of that project. So whether it's a concept e-commerce website, whether it's a, um, an, a web app, iPad app, iPhone app, Android app, um, maybe it's your favorite website that you want to redesign or whatnot. It could be a fictitious business. It could be anything, okay? It's a concept. It's a personal project. doesn't matter. What matters is the level of detail, the content, the level of design work, and um, the level of, of detail and states that you show within in that project. So what I mean by that is not just showing a single screen, but showing multiple screens, maybe five to eight different screenshots of different states within that app, okay? Um, but basically, that's what you wanna do first and foremost. You don't wanna start designing your portfolio per se, you wanna start designing a project within your portfolio, okay? And then once you get that project up, once you get one project out there, um, you can actually build your portfolio based on one project. Okay, just use that one project as a single, you know, as your page showing you screenshots. As I mentioned in the last video, you don't need the thumbnails per se when you only have one project. Just show the full screenshots, you know, vertically aligned. And uh, that would be, you know, used as your your first and first project. And then once you get two to three projects, then you can go to the thumbnail view, which I showed in my video. Um, you know, now concepting up a project, a personal project, is easier said than done. I know because it's hard coming up with a really good idea that you can work on, you know, as a concept site. So what I like to do is think about websites that you visit a lot, whether it's CNN.com, Yahoo, eBay, you know, YouTube, and maybe you want to take a stab at redesigning these sites as a concept. You know, what's your, what's your ideal look for, for YouTube, or what's your ideal look for CNN, or, you know, Yahoo, or, um, you know, Instagram, um, or Facebook, or whatever, right? So you come up with a concept, um, and, and the best the best type of projects are sites that you really have some sort of equity in that you really know about and you really want to change like I bank at bofa.com uh, Bank of America now I go to their website a lot now I could probably concept up some ideas on how they can improve their interface you know because I go to the site a lot you know so I have a lot of equity in using that website so that would be a good project for me for example um, I was in uh, Hawaii I was vacationing in Hawaii recently and we went snorkeling my wife and I and our kids we went snorkeling and I went to this website to sign up for their snorkeling trip and the site was uh, it was kind of drab right so I could have taken I could take that site based on my experience with that site I could take that site and redesign it um, and redesign it the way I envision it and that would be a nice personal project for me because um, I had real life experience using that site and I could really speak on in terms of how I would like to make it better. Um, so those are the best personal projects per se and that's what, you know, as I said, it's easier said than done but take, you know, a weekend and really brainstorm on some nice personal projects and really 
put a good effort into it. As I mentioned, just don't stop at the first screen. Show multiple screens of that project um, and it will give, it will give your project more um, value and it would also get more engagement, meaning more people will be wanting to view that project versus just one screenshot, all right? And then it will help you out whether you're out there landing jobs and getting recruiters and people to look at your work, all right? You wanna go deeper, uh, not just that one single page, all right? So um, that's a tip that I got for this video. Work on the project itself, not the portfolio first, okay? Work on the projects, and that's how you start in building up your web design portfolio. All right, um, thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button below on YouTube, um, leave me a comment, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't, if you enjoy this video and enjoy the videos that I, that I put out. Um, also visit my website, mlwebco.com if you wanna learn more about my web design training and if you have any questions, use the contact link on my website and I'll be happy to answer your questions for you. All right, thanks for watching guys, we'll talk soon, peace.